Hello and welcome back. In our final segment, I wanted to say a couple of words about uh, the dark side of it, the whole equation here. Uh, a lot of people are coming forward and talking about what happens after the election. So I guess my message is in the same way that you buy life insurance and health insurance and car insurance, you need to be thinking about what happens if the cities go crazy after the election. What happens if they try to start shutting things down? What happens when 20 million illegal aliens that have never been vetted start to think that they're going to get deported? I do not think they're going to go quietly into this good night. So what I would suggest, make sure you have water. Make sure you have friends that you know you can rely on if all of it hits the fan. I'm not saying it will. I think it's going to be something crazy, but hopefully it's only in the cities. But unfortunately, we live pretty close to one of those blue dots on the screen, city of Cincinnati. So there is going to be crazy stuff happening there, I think. So be prepared. Um, the other thing I want to do is I'm hoping that after the election, we can have a nice holiday celebration, maybe a Christmas party here at the farm. That news will go out early in November, hopefully. We'll see what we can do. The last thing I want to leave you with is something that um, my wife and I actually started down this rabbit hole around July. And the issue is your health, our health, what's happening in America. 50% of the children are obese. 70% of adults are obese. How did that happen? Well, when you start digging down this rabbit hole, a lot of it turns out to be, if you remember when we were kids, they came out with this thing called the food pyramid. And the bottom of the pyramid suddenly was no longer beef, meat, protein. It was carbohydrates. The reason it was carbohydrates is because the owners of General Mills, Quaker Oats, all of the food companies paid the money to put them at the bottom of the pyramid. And I hate to tell you, most of what's at the bottom of the pyramid is pure poison to your system. We're going to start exploring that. So I just want to tell you to be ready in January, February. You're going to hear a slightly different message about us. It's going to still be about restoring liberty, but it's also going to be about restoring health. What can we do to get America healthy again? So I just wanted to leave you with that. Stay tuned. Please stay involved in the races. What's going on here tonight, I, you can't see it on the podcast here. People are eating and filling out postcards. Thank you so much for working. We've already got about 300 of them back tonight. We will get those out. They are going to make a huge difference. If you are willing to do that, I can give you the lists. I can give you the postcards. We are raising funds to get stamps. So if you can't do anything... Please go to RestoreLiberty.us slash donate and give us money for, for stamps. Literally, I guarantee you that is what they're going for. So if you've got an extra 10 bucks, you got an extra $73, it's 73 cents a stamp. Every penny you give us will go toward that. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your involvement during this entire election. It's been a bumpy ride, and hopefully we can finish it out and win this thing. Thank you.